Are you tired of manually entering SEO parameters every time you publish a blog on your WordPress website? It's a tedious, time-consuming task that eats up your valuable time and can lead to inconsistencies in your SEO setup. You've probably wished for a way to do this programmatically through a REST API, but Yoast SEO only has a read-only API. If you've ever found yourself frustrated by this, like me, then this video is for you. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use an automation platform called Make.com to write Yoast SEO parameters to your WordPress website blog when it's published. And we're going to do this in an automated process called a Make Scenario. First of all, you're going to need make.com. There is a link in the description that will let you sign up for a free core plan on your first month that you sign up. You can also check out links in the description for my newsletter, as well as some other cool tools I use as a make freelancer. You're also going to need the make connector on your website. Unfortunately, WordPress says this plugin hasn't been tested with the last three major releases of WordPress. I can tell you I have it in a production environment and it works just fine on the most recent version of WordPress. You're going to install it on your WordPress website and it's going to sit right down here and it's going to allow you to connect to your WordPress website from make.com to run those automations. You'll also have the ability to turn on or off the API fields that you want to use. So that's an important step here. So I'm going to click on custom API fields and I'm on the post and I'm going to hit control F and search for Yoast. And right down here, I have turned on the Yoast custom fields. So these are all the custom fields on your site. You're going to want to check the Yoast ones and save those so that those are available and work in your make.com automated scenario. So I'm over here in my content generator that I use to push content out to my WordPress website and to my social media. I'm going to click right here on this post ID. This is going to open up this post that is in a draft format. And if I scroll down here, you can see right here is my focus key phrase. It's been added in already. Right here is my title, which I can edit if I want to. I actually put, put the title in here instead of the placeholder because sometimes my titles for the posts that show up are longer than I want to show up in SEO. So this gives me a chance to edit these. And then here is my meta description. So everything was put in here. I will, as a workflow, come here and look at this, make any edits that I need to to make this SEO optimized, give me that green dot that we all love with uh, Yoast SEO, and then I'll hit publish. So, so let me go over here to make and show you how this is set up. So this is a long scenario I actually have that runs my content generation and creates my SEO posts. What we're going to do is we're going to zoom in here and we're just going to look at the Yoast SEO setup right now. So here is the normal stuff you would see, the title, the content, the post type. Here's all the information you put in into your make scenario. But right down here under metadata, this is where the power comes in for Yoast SEO. You're going to open up this metadata section. You're going to add an item. And this one here is, uh, I'll leave this on the screen, underscore Yoast, underscore WPSEO, underscore focus KW. So that is the focus keyword that I've mapped here. Right here is that WordPress SEO title, and that is the variable that you're going to use to map that. And you can see I've even mapped the placeholders that you can find over in your settings in Yoast SEO. Those work. So I'm putting my title here, then I'm putting my page, I'm putting the separator, and then the site name. Those placeholders work just fine when your SEO title is published here. See, here's the page, the separator, and the site title. Those work just fine as they do in your regular site. And then right down here, you're going to do underscore Yoast WP SEO meta DESC. So that is going to be that meta description that goes right here. In this case, it's a little long, but again, it saves me a lot of scrolling and copying and pasting to automatically put this data in here. And then I can make some really quick tweaks and edits and hit that green dot status and publish the post. If you want to see ideas for generating keywords for SEO posts or LinkedIn 
post. Click this video and check it out. It's an automated system that turns keywords and information into ideas and posts. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.